Hey there, Kevin with Spectora here. You're on the inspection detail screen, so I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of how to use this page and all the different features on it. The first part of it, you can click on the time and date here to reschedule the inspection. Next, if you need to edit the property details, you just click on the address here and you can edit the city, address, year built, square footage. This information is just for you to help you out. It doesn't show to the client. Next, you can click on the built and square footage down here and that'll take you down to the same section here. You'll see at the top right, there's a client view button here. And if you click on that, this shows you what the client and agent sees when you send them to the inspection details link. So this is what they'll see minus the main menu up top and minus this drop down menu up here. Uh, on this screen, you'll see they can view the report, they can view the invoice and the agreement. This is the link you can also send if you need to manually send the inspection details link or if there's any issues with email, you would just copy and paste this link right here and send it in an email. Next, there's this more dropdown, so you can get to the property details from there as well. You can also reschedule the inspection from there. You can delete the inspection or you can print out the order, which is basically a work order for your records or for your accounting and it takes you directly to the print screen. All right, next we'll go down to the people box. So if you click on new, this is how you would always add a new inspector, a new client, a new agent. If you click on the three little dots next to any of the people in the people box, you can either remove them, you can edit their information, which will give you email, phone, and then you can also resend confirmation emails to the client or agent here as well, or remove anybody from the job. You can also get to the client agent view by clicking this link. That's the same as the one up here. All right, onto the reports section. So this will show you the templates or the reports that are built for this inspection. So if you click on edit, that'll take you to the report writer. If you click on view, it'll let you preview the report. If you want to attach anything to your reports, you'll click on the attach button and you can also display attachments as a report, meaning it'll show up on the client view right here as a button and a report as opposed to in the HTML report under the table of contents. Oftentimes there's not templates associated with an inspection, in which case this section will be blank. So how you add a new template or report to an inspection, you click on new and then you select a template you want to add. Other options with the report include copying it or deleting it. And you can also republish the inspection from the screen by clicking on resend email and it'll bring up your report ready email that you customize in automation. Next, you'll see any attachments right here that you've added to this inspection. You can click on new to add that same attachment right there. If you use Spectora for payments, you can always go in here and click on edit to add a line item, add a fee. Um, this will be pre-populated for you once you have your services and fees set up. Um, you can have a note here that goes on the client invoice. So remember, this will be visible to the client. You can add fees. You can even do negatives here for discounts. And here is where you would also require the payment for the client to view the report. This is checked by default when you have payments enabled on Spectora. Um, if they pay by check or cash on site, this is where you would click paid manually um, to release the report to them. And then here's some internal notes for yourself. And down here, you can add text that goes on the invoice. So if you do need to include, say, the client address or where they can mail a check, you would put that here can add a default to this section so it shows up every time and that is found in settings and payments and there's invoice text so you can put a mail to and that'll populate every time on the invoice so you don't have to do it every time down below that is where you'll click view invoice to view the invoice it looks like this and now you have your agreements box so this is where your inspection agreement will show up um, it will be green if it's signed and you can always click into it and if you scroll down to the bottom, it'll show you that the client has accepted the agreement, the time and date, and their IP address. If you need to delete and regenerate an inspection agreement, because remember, this generates at the time you create the inspection and add the agreement. So if you update information, you will need to delete the agreement and re-add it. Um, if you get it signed on site, you can always upload it right here by clicking File. And then you can also go to edit your templates and your agreement templates here. If you have integrations such as Secure24, ISN, Recall Check, those will show down here and you'll be able to submit client information from this page. There is an internal section here where you can add the order ID, change it, add the referral source, 
mark if it's occupied, utilities on, and these show in the mobile app when you go to your mobile inspection details screen. You can also disable all notifications, which will, won't send any emails or text messages to the clients or agents. And then notes here, which do show up in the app. A lot of admins and office staff will add notes here. And down below is where you can see which emails and texts have gone out and will go out for the given inspection. So if there's ever any question if something went out, always refer to the bottom of the inspection details screen to see if emails went out. You can always click through on these to see the email itself. And you can also resend from here. If you ever need to reshare the inspection details page with a client or agent so they can sign the agreement or pay, you can always click on the share details button right here and you can type in any email here. So you can send this to anybody you want um, and you can modify the email as well before you send it out. So keep in mind, anytime you need to resend anything, you can always use this share details button or if you simply want to resend an email, you can do that from here as well. This will give you the time and the date in which email is sent out. Looks like we've rescheduled this one a bunch of times. All right, that's the inspection details screen. We hope you guys use this to its full value. If you have any questions, you can use the little chat bubble down here at the bottom right. Let us know, thanks.